Hey, what's going on, gamers? You're watching Zack and Slash Gaming with Resident Evil 2 Claire B Part 2. If you're new here, then I go around and I play kind of like random games, but the majority of what I've played so far is survival horror. So I play Resident Evil 1, Resi I'm playing Resident Evil 2, I played Prey. And then obviously if if you've already if you already know me, then you're here to continue my Resident Evil 2 playthrough, I assume. Or just want to see my content. Cause I'm also playing Saints Row 3 at the moment, so that's why I said I kind of play random games, just whatever games I basically want to play. But let's get this video started. And I actually remembered tonight at the store to get some game fuel. I actually remembered yesterday, that's when I bought it, and it is Die 7 Up. <laughs> Alright, so we got the blue key card, we got the precinct key, the valve handle. Three ink ribbons, a knife, handgun, and 132 handgun bullets. First aid spray. Sure. Mm. Okay, yeah, we'll take it. Now, if you're watching this video, you either you either were already watching my playthrough, or just stumbled upon it, or maybe you saw my promo, and kind of want to see what my channel in this series was all about. Is that there was a crawler thing in here last time? If it's still in here, I don't want to go in there. It's it just sucks because the handgun hardly does anything against it. Why is that, that thing still in there? Oh my gosh. Well, the good news is I got my RCA Cambio set up. And honestly, I thought it was going to be like pretty decent, but actually it's really good for what it is. It's 2 gigs of RAM, 32 gigabytes of storage, and it's pretty uh, low-end Intel Atom. So... It's not, it's not too bad, but one thing that was weird is it works with Xbox Game DVR, and my desktop doesn't it for some reason. I don't know. I don't really know why that's the case. Let's go through here. You like the sounds out here? They, the zombies groaning just sound like a... Uh, like... What does that sound like? Like every time they growl and they're just like going... They're like doing like... Not monotone growls, but... <laughs> like their voice is cracking. That makes sense. I killed all the ones in here, I think. I don't think there's anything there. Wait, there's a notepad. Maybe you can't grab it. I don't think you can. I can't even imagine grabbing a notepad at this camera angle. I can't see if there's a notepad on the desk or not. It's terrible. What's this? Yes, please. Take like all the ink ribbons I get. Doesn't mean I like ink ribbons. Seriously, I'm so glad the later games change the ink ribbons because why would you want ink ribbons? 
head back this way. No, this is the wrong way. This one's like, what, a club key? I have a spade key. It's in the shape of a spade. That helps. No more with those two rooms at the end of that hall. Or at the... Yeah, like, right there. And the one next to it, because I can't do anything yet. Isn't one of them locked, actually? Oh, diamond, of course. Another one's open, you can't do anything. At least not that I could see. Oh. Back up, pal. Watch this, ready? And go. That's how it's done right there. And here we are at the, the front of the police station. Kinda of proud of myself today because Actually, I have a pretty good thumbnail for Blair Witch Part 6. It's like the part where, if you guys don't know it, it's there's this guy named Carver, and he's he knocks you out right, and you wake up. And as he's as he's about to punch you, that thunder strikes through the air. It doesn't hit strike him, of course, but it, you can just see it in the air and like the thunder and stuff. So the sky lights up, and right at that second, I paused it and got and got my thumbnail. Pretty good. Can I go to the library, please? <sighs> it's electronically locked, okay. Wait. Oh my gosh, I just remembered. What do I have right here? A blue card key. So we could do this. Go down the ladder, and at the computer you need a card key. go no nah, I won't use a card key why would I not why would I not use it sweet hall side doors locked release Save right there, number two. It's always good to have two save files. Oh, and that, I learned that from experience. After like Saints Row, well, I don't, I don't exactly, I'm not exactly caught up in my Saints Row videos, but I've been getting them. But after like, it's not video I've uploaded yet, of course, but it's Saints Row 2 Part 5 or something. And after that video, I accidentally, my flat, my 32 gigabyte flash drive got full on my capture card, so it stopped recording, I didn't notice. So it basically missed the whole mission. Oh, bleep, there's three of you in here? Can, you, can we not? No, let's just not with this. Oh, 
How you like that? Get back on the ground, please. Locked, we'll use a lockpick. Yes, please. And what's this? Ooh, first aid spray. over by the reception desk. It's too dark to see anything outside. Is there anything in here? Nope. You guys ready? What's behind this door? Guess. I bet there is no zombies. Wouldn't that be nice? I know this hallway from, if it's the same as Leon A, just watch. The cord will short out soon. What the heck, that's cool. So, I, what I just, I think I just realized this. Well, I did just realize this, and I may be right, maybe wrong. But in Leon A, what I did was I got the wires and I put the cord there and it says the cord will short out soon. So all the shutters are closed, right? To keep you safe, I guess, from dogs jumping in through the window. And the cords are still there from what you did in Leon A. So that's pretty good. Which means also when we get to the, when we get close to the sewers, we'll get the uh, SMG for Claire. Oops. I thought I, I thought I was using a knife. You have used the spade key. There's only one door for the spade key. There's at least a, like a handful of doors for each I thought before. Never know what could be around every corner. A copy machine. I never would have guessed. Patrol report. September twentieth, nine thirty p.m. Reporter. Sergeant Neil Carlson, we received a report of a suspicious individual skulking around the sewers and outskirts of Raccoon City. I searched the area and located the individual, but he ran away before I was able to question him. I recovered the following items. A small amount of C4 plastic explosive, an electronic detonator, 9x19 parabolum rounds, and a broken infrared scope. End of report. I wonder who it was. Poking around. Just police with the anchor bins. Poor Ridge. Visual materials. This is where this is where I had to put put up. This is where I had to push the car, right? Yep. Or not car, it's like a step ladder. Will you take the lighter? What? You'd think it'd replace the lockpick, because with Leon, that's that's the slot that it was in, because it's like his key item. I guess this is not. Is there a door right here? No? Okay, that's just one, one less room to search. Yesterday, that the helicopter dropped through the ceiling. Well, that's scary, and I wasted ammo. Well, it's scary, like 
not really scary, but oh my gosh. I know I'm not doing a face reveal, but you guys would see me. I actually literally jumped a little bit when I was just talking about that it was not scary when the guy j dropped in through the ceiling. It was, I mean, it wasn't. It was scary that I was wasting ammo, but at this part when the, they both when the, both these guys jumped through the window, I just jumped. I got like a shiver down my spine. Doesn't happen very often, so I don't really get scared. And... That's a good jump scare, actually. Probably because I was distracted. I didn't see it coming. It looks like there's a recent accident here. Hello? Anyone in here? What's this? I found Tony's arms. <laughs> he sacrificed the hellfire. Sweet. Looks like an operation map. Operation report. September 26th, the Raccoon Police Department was unexpectedly t attacked by zombies. Many have been injured, even more were killed. During the attack, our communications equipment was destroyed and we no longer have contact with the outside. We have decided to carry out an operation with the intent of rescuing any possible survivors as well as to prevent this disaster from spreading, from spreading beyond Raccoon City. The details of the operation are as follows. Security of armaments and ammunition. Chief Irons has voiced concern regarding the issue of terrorism due to a series of recent unresolved incidents. On the very day before the zombies attack, he made the decisions to relocate all the weapons to scattered intervals throughout the building as a temporary measure to prevent their possible seizure. Unfortunately, this decision has made it extremely difficult for us to locate all ammunition caches. It has become our top priority to recover these scattered ammunitions. What a waste. They're going to waste their time finding the guns and the ammo. I mean, I get it, but they should have just like locked it away to unlock the weapon storage. As stated earlier, it will be extremely difficult to secure all the ammunition. However, a considerable supply still remains in the underground weapon storage. Unfortunately, the person in charge of the card key used to access weapon storage is missing and we have been unable to locate the key. One of the breakers went down in the battle and the electronic locks are not functioning in certain areas. It's become a top priority to restore the power in the power room and secure those locks. Recorder David Ford. I like their top priority was to save survivors, then it was to recover all the weapons, then it was to recover it, or then it was to turn on the power. September 27th, 1 p.m. The West Barricade has been broken through, and another exchange ensued. We sheltered the injured in the confiscation room on the first floor temporarily. Twelve more people were injured in the battle. Recorder David Ford. Additional report. Three additional people were killed following the sudden appearance of an as of yet unknown creature. This creature is identified by missing patches of skin and razor-like claws. However, its most distingu distinguishing characteristic is its lance-like tongue, capable of piercing a human torso in an instant. Their numbers as well as their location remains unknown. We have been tentatively Name this creature the liquor and are currently in the process of developing countermeasures to deal with this new threat. Sounds like a rough mission. Their objective just kept changing, and then before they can even finish any of their objectives, they have to find out how to deal with the new creature. Hmm. Let's get out of here.
where should we go from here? We'll just go in this door. It's the closest. Oh, it's locked. Diamond is etched under the keyhole. Hmm. In Leon A, there was a zombie right here. could develop film here. You see when I was playing Leon A you get the film, right? But I didn't I didn't remember where exactly you could develop it and it was kinda of far so I didn't want to go back. I didn't even know that. Operation Report two. September twenty eighth, early morning, two thirty eight AM. Zombies overran the operation room and in another battle broke out. We lost four more people, including David. We're down to four people, including myself. We failed to secure the weapon, the weapons cache, and hope for our survival continues to diminish. We won't last much longer. We, we agreed upon a plan to escape through the sewer. There's a path leading from the precinct underground to the sewage disposal plant. We should be able to access the sewers through, the, through there. The only drawback is that there is no guarantee the sewage disposal plant is free of any possible dangers. We know our chances in the sewers are slim, but anything is better than simply waiting here to die. In order to buy more time, we locked the only door leading to the underground, which is located in, in the eastern office. We left a key behind in the western office, since it's unlikely that any of those creatures have the intelligence to find it and unlock the door. I pray that this operation report will be helpful to whoever may find it. Elliot Edwards. Oh, thank you, Elliot. Did they did they get out? Uh, I don't know. Oh, it's an old typewriter. Amazing. A special kind of keys required. Well, I need to get those green herbs outside this room. It's good to at least just have them in your in the save box or the storage box. I'll just grab them, put them in there, and swap for my first aid spray. if you combine two green herbs it made a first aid spray that'd be cool I probably shouldn't save just yet but if I think I should come back and save then I will I just don't want to waste any ink ribbons turns with the door wall but it just seems to be sealed from the other side. Something is written on the mountain. The god of sun and the god of moon. Their gaze upon me is the only thing that can release the red soul. Oh yeah, they're just backwards.
almost there. drop it. What if it was made of glass? It would have shattered. Thank you. Also, who on earth put this in the police station anyway? There's just some giant statue that has a red jewel. Like, who cares about the jewels? I don't see the need for them. Like, who would, who would have thought that a police station would have so many puzzles? You need key cards over the doors. It's just normal, but but you have to do a puzzle to get a red jewel that might not be used for anything. Is it really that important? Like, I don't know. It's a hard choice. Let's put the lighter away for now. Uh, I need. I think I need the other red jewel. The lighter we already used on the fireplace. I don't know if we're gonna need it soon. If we do, we'll just come back. Take a swig of soda real quick. Stupid red jewel before anyone else takes it. I mean, what? The guy who made this puzzle is like, Yeah, I want to have a statue in the middle. I want the god of sun and the god of moon to gaze upon me, and I will drop a red jewel for you. And then it will uh, do who knows what. And you need a second red jewel for it, too. You got me. Leon. Oh snap! It's Leon. It's Hug. good to see you're still among the living. Pointing. It's good to see you're it among the living. Like I'm fine. Chris's diary. August 8th. I talked to the chief once again, but he refused to listen to me. I know for certain that Umbrella conducted T-virus research in that mansion. Anyone infected turns into a zombie. But the entire mansion went up in that explosion along with any incriminating evidence. Since Umbrella employs so many people in town, no one is willing to talk about the incident. It looks like I'm running out of options. August 17th. We've been receiving a lot of, train, a lot of local, local reports about strange monsters appearing at random throughout the city. This must be the work of Umbrella. August 24th. With the help of Jill and Barry, I finally obtained information vital to this case. Umbrella has begun research on a new G-Virus, a variation of the original T-Virus. Have they done enough damage already? We talked it over and have decided to fly to the main Umbrella HQ in Europe. I won't tell my sister about this trip because doing so could put her in danger. Please forgive me, Claire. <laughs> There's no reason for us to stay. Is that where Resident Evil 3 system. takes place? Let's split up. Look for any survivors. Oh yeah, let's split up. Here. Let's not split up. Right. One last thing. Here's a radio. Take it. Yes, please. That way we can keep in touch if anything happens. Oh. 
That way we can keep in touch if anything happens. That way we can keep in touch in case anything. That way we can keep in touch. He keeps saying it every time you talk to him. That way we can keep in touch if anything happens. That way we can keep in touch in case anything happens. I'll remember that. There are unopened cardboard boxes. It looks like a rookie's desk. Several files from past cases, nothing useful here. Hey, the rookie's desk might be Leon's desk. This must be where they gather information. Whoa, crossbow, you gotta be kidding me. I'm gonna come back. Uh -huh, I'm gonna drop everything. Grab this stupid crossbow. Well, this really good crossbow. Leon, guess what? I got a crossbow. Nothing suspicious nor out of the ordinary. It's a picture of a young man. There's a good chance it's her boyfriend. That's the diamond key. Hey, we can't carry any more items, so let's drop a few things. The desk is disorganized and untidy. It probably reflects the owner's personality. Crash, someone must have searched the desk. Gee, I wonder who is probably Leon. Appears to be a replica of gun. The owner is probably a member of the NRA. There isn't anything useful on the shelf. Various trophies, one of them reads Marksman Contest Winner Chris Redfield. What's Leon gonna say when I talk to him? That way we, we can keep, keep in touch in case anything happens. happens. Alright. You don't need to tell me again. Tell me something else. Oh, I was like, what? I, was, I thought I thought Claire screamed. I was like, was there really a reason to scream? I mean, you've killed multiple of these. Let's let's not. <laughs> His head went rolling so far, but where'd it go? This girl's trying to lead me astray for my true mission, getting the crossbow. Oh, they're eating her. Oh my gosh. I mean, she went that way, right? Who else would they be eating? What is our little girl doing here anyway? No offense. Maybe oh, she was an escaped convict. Oh my gosh. That's probably true. She's the leader of Umbrella. Won't that be a twist? Excuse me, uh, God of Sun, God of Moon. I got a mission to do. You know, right about there, it'd be nice to have a grenade launcher around to launch into that pit of zombies. I think this is worthy enough to save now. Do I really want to put the red jewels back? Let's do the... No, not the knife. I, I want the knife. Maybe... I've got a lot of options here. Because we gotta pick up the crossbow and we gotta pick up the other thing. Well, I'll drop the. I'll put the ink ribbons in here and I'll put. Well, let me say it first. I'll put the ink ribbon and the valve handle in there.
I mean, why, I don't know why I'm carrying any ink ribbons. Most rooms that have typewriters have ink ribbons, too. Or have, uh, the storage chest, too. So anytime I come in here, I just grab the ink ribbon out of the chest and then use it on the typewriter. Well, actually, the one room, it's a little bit different. Where the storage chest is at the, uh, at, not at the reception desk, but in, like, the waiting room. And then the typewriters in, in the lobby. But still pretty close. And usually they're together. Watch, Leon's gonna be gone. You know, how come when he plays Leon and Leon A, you don't see the little girl? It's a, it's literally the same time. Like, when you leave his Claire, you see the little girl, she screams and runs away, right? But when he plays Leon, you leave, Claire stays in the room, and you don't see the little girl. Oh, it's a bow gun with 18 arrows. Sweet, there's nothing left. What the heck is printing out right there? Uh, Federal Police Department Internal Investigation Report. Mr. Chris, Re Mr. Chris Redfield, Raccoon City Police Department, Stars Division. As per your request, we have conducted our internal investigation and discovered the following information. One, regarding a G-Virus currently under development by Umbrella Inc. So far, it is unconfirmed that the G-Virus even exists. We're continuing with our events investigation. 2. Regarding Mr. Brian Irons, Chief of the Raccoon State Police Department. Mr. Irons has allegedly received a large sum of funds in bribes from Umbrella Inc. over the last five years. He was apparently involved in the cover-up of the mansion lab case along with several other incidents in which Umbrella appeared to have direct involvement. Mr. Irons had been arrested under suspicion of rape on two separate counts during his years at, as a university student. He underwent psychiatric evaluation as a result of the charges, but was released due to circumstantial evidence as well as his phenomenal academic standing. As such, extreme caution is advised when dealing with him. Jack Hamilton, Section Chief, Internal Investigations, United States Federal Police Department. <laughs> Hold up. Okay, so now, well, now we got everything, so we could just go. What can this bow gun do? I'm impressed already. guy off. I don't like his attitude. Oh, 
Well, this information looks useful. Desk is locked. We we'll use lock pick. No, I won't. <laughs> Three handgun rounds. Was that 30 bullets I just got? I thought I had 123. Also, where's that little girl anyway? Mm -mm. Get out of here with this puzzle right now. Freaking, I remember we on A. What was that? Of course the cord shorted out. What the heck happened to that third zombie at the end of the hall? It just went, in that second one, it just went through the wall. They, they ain't climbing through the window, they just walked through walls. Or crawled. I don't, I don't Hopefully the puzzle's the same. Wouldn't that be scary if you were just walking up there and you just fell through the floor? Knock the wind out of you, probably. Ron's play with the picture on it. It was the same. So as you can see, this one's supposed to be right here, and then this one, and this third one, and that one. These two are two spaces apart, then one space apart, then two spaces again. Starting from this, I guess you could start from this one when it's opened, right? And it just goes one space, two space, and then that, and then one space, and then two. So that's pretty much the gist of it. Serpent stone. Okay. If you see my Leon A playthrough, uh, it wasn't exactly that quick for the bookshelf puzzle. It was like 10 minutes, or maybe it was like 20 minutes. Oh, well, no, I think it's like 10 minutes. Still, though. The point is, is that it took too long. There we go. room again. Also, where's that girl at? Still seems to be broken and won't work. It's a square hole. Wait. Nope, we need the valve. I was hoping we didn't need the valve, because I put the valve away. Oh well, we live and learn. Plus, I don't even know what I need the red jewels for. Maybe it's like Resident Evil 1, where if you get the red jewel and the blue jewel, you get the Colt Python. It's so weird with how much you get backtrack in Resident Evil 1 though, because you go all the way from Umbrella Laboratory to the, uh, you go, ba you go back all the way to the mansion, you go back all the way to the beginning of the game, straight from almost the end of the game. 
none of the doors just don't they don't lock you could always go back it's just crazy there's games don't usually have that much backtracking I mean optional backtracking sure but I almost never do That'd be pretty rough if a game actually made you go back to the beginning of your game just saw a puzzle at, towards the end of the game. So many why is there a reason for this just line up all in one row one column I use my last crossbow bolt well either way this crossbow is freaking OP as heck I was wondering, it was taking a long time to load. I was just trying to load up like four zombies. What was the reason for that? Exactly. Let's put back this. Grab out the valve handle. Put back one red jewel and it's if we're gonna put back one red jewel, let's just put back both. Okay, so we got first aid spray with us now. Oops. Let's hurry back to that attic room. Still say that that the zombies were eating the little girl. I mean, she ran through here. How could she have gone away? Maybe she had a gun. She threatened them with it. Sorry, bookshelf puzzle. I don't have time to sit with you right now. before since Claire B is pretty similar in terms of uh, where you go and stuff and the puzzles um, uh, it make, makes it easier because I remember the square hole okay you don't need this right now okay what goes here the square hole. Neither the valve handle goes there or the serpent stone. Unless, unless it's a jewel. But that's unfair because jewels aren't square and neither of the jewels that I found. Well, 
pense c'est wow, yeah. <laughs> Unless we put the lighter in there, that'd be pretty ridiculous, so. Which way should we go? We can go out this way and down to the hall on the right, or we can just go out this front way. We'll go out this way. Oh, that just leads back to the lobby, sweet. Going to the right, then. I have to stretch real quick. Okay, so we'll go this way. Unless it's a dead end. The door's nailed shut. It doesn't look like it can pass through here. Nothing here. Okay. Let's take a safe bet and say that in the square hole goes the jewel. I know it doesn't make any sense, but maybe it's not supposed to make any sense. Not much, not much of this stuff makes sense for like why this stuff's here. And then five more zombies spawn. I in the mood to waste that much ammo. I swear, if the jewel is the thing that goes in the square hole, it's not gonna make any sense because last I checked, jewels aren't exactly square. You know, I'm confident. Maybe, maybe it is just because I don't have anything else. Hopefully, hopefully, um, the jewel works. Well, we're gonna find out in just a second, so. What your guys' guess is gonna work or is it not gonna work? That makes sense. When I play as Leon, I don't remember have to, having to do this part right away anyway.
Alright, I'm just gonna save real quick. And, okay. I forgot an ink ribbon. Eh, forget. Me, me saving this has to be on camera. I'm grabbing an ink ribbon anyway. But if you guys enjoyed the video, please leave a like. Subscribe and ring the bell if you want to stay tuned for more. If you have any family and friends who you think would be interested in my content, please tell them about me. And stay tuned for more Resident Evil 2 videos, more Saints Row 3 videos, and I got one more Blair Witch video coming your way in just a couple days. So stay tuned for more video, guys. And well, I'm at videos, not video. <laughs> and I hope you guys have a good night. Thanks for watching.